This is a strat. Hey, what's going on? Um, let's have a little bit of fun. We keep hitting that A blue scale, A minor pentatonic. Let's just see if we can expand that scale a little bit. You guys have followed along. We try to keep it uh, at a accessible level where we're not making things crazy hard. But, uh, you know, we got to keep moving forward. Let's try a little move going from a G to an A. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a diagonal pattern. And I got a fuzz face going through uh, my Princeton Reverb plus a Tube Screamer right now. So it's kind of double trouble. Here comes G, A. And I put a little vibrato in there. Hard to describe vibrato, but it's got a sound you we've all heard. When I shake it kind of big there, I'm pulling it towards the floor a little bit. Because if I go the other way, <laughs> so I'm careful to pull it down. G A. Let's add a C. Let's get a pick. So uh, I did G A C. So that sounds kind of rock and roll, man. Yeah. So we can do some bends. Hammer on, pull off, vibrato, and slides. There's the D, so we got G, A, C, D. And that's the hammer on, pull off. So, you know, we're always looking for the right notes, but they're probably right on your guitar. They're probably right at your fingertips. It's what we do with them is probably more important. G, A, C, D. So that was a slide. G, A, C, D. Slide up to E, which is seventh fret. That is a really seriously powerful and popular and good sounding set of notes to my ears. Uh, then we make it to another G A which is 5-7 on the fourth string. And then we can head back down. some pinch harmonics which people ask about that a lot and a lot of times my my reaction is why would you want to do those they sound kind of gross <laughs> but in the right place in the right time they're pretty cool the trick on pinch harmonics is I make the pick tiny the tip is ridiculously small and I'm hitting the string with the pick plus my index and thumb I don't know why it works like that it just produces a weird harmonic and it also is sensitive to where you pick it. Notice the different sounds. So we got another C here. We're just building a pattern. G A C D E G A C Yeah C and then we can go up to D up to E So that was a 5 7 9 on the third string I did a ham a combination hammer on pull off slide which is really cool. Now, 
got me the notes. <laughs> sucker that's probably number one band on guitar in my experience third string seventh fret lifting towards the ceiling when you bend I like these two fingers typically and index is kind of keeping the other strings under control you're gonna collide with the fourth and fifth strings as you bend don't worry about that. Just ignore it. It's, a, it's normal. You just shove them out of the way a little bit. And this finger kind of helps control it so they don't bark at us. Cool, huh? Wow! And then we got a uh, 810 on the second string. which is GA. So I'm trying to kind of uh, convince you that that GA is a good thing to practice. Your ears should kind of start picking that up. Oh, tuner says. Since we're in the key of A, we, we care about those A notes quite a bit. Then you can hit C, 8th fret, 1st string. Take it up a whole step. D, E. That's an 8, 10, 12. Try to just finger it gracefully. Try not to use just one finger or two. Try to use your hand the best you can. an E, so next is G, 15th fret, 1st string, G, you know, you know what's next, G, A, G, A, C, that's a 20 on the 1st string, C. C, A. You can bend that C a whole step. Or a half step. All right. Then you can hit an A5. So if there's some A rock and roll going on in your neighborhood... That's a start. Very, 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 very fun to think about. So thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't uh, got this book, think about getting it. I'm posting one video per day. I'm going to try to get through the whole book. It's 365 exercises. We're going to do one per day. We're on week three, I think. But you can get caught up. Get the book. Have some fun. Yeah, I got to do... Uh, what is today? I have a little trouble with that. No, I, I'm cool. Tomorrow I'm going to do one, uh, some arpeggios for Thursday. So, so far I can manage the book. I can play. And uh, it's a little harder than I realized, but it's cool. It makes me focus because it, it shifts. It's not your typical boring exercises. It's got some pretty cool things. You got to pay attention. It's got some timing and some pick directions. And uh, but it's cohesive, which I am not so cohesive sometimes. I like to jump around like crazy, but that book keeps us kind of on track. 
So thanks for following. If you could subscribe, that would be awesome. Like, share, comment. Be my friend. Give me some tips. All right. See you later.